Hi, and welcome back. In this particular section, we are going to be talking about configuring your environments. So if you've been following along, you know that we have actually configured our release and we added the tasks and we have it pretty much ready to go. Now we need to define the environments that we're going to actually release to or deploy our software into. So we're going to describe all that in this particular section and show you how to do that. So what will you learn? Well, we're going to first get an understanding of what environments actually are. So everybody's on this, you know, level playing field here and we start out with a base and then we can build off that. Then we're going to talk about the approval workflow. And the approval workflow is allowing users to be able to dictate when and if the releases will come into the environments. Then we'll talk about the deployment queue. There's an agent queue that we have to set up, and we want to show you how to do that. This thing called deployment conditions by which a deployment would occur. And then we talk about cloning environments, and we're going to show you why and how you would go about cloning an environment. And then lastly, we're going to queue a release. So we've been going through this whole series of videos in this course, but we haven't actually queued a release yet. So this is the section where we're actually going to fire off that release in a couple of different ways. We're going to show you how to do it through a continuous integration or a continuous deployment type of scenario. And we're going to do one with a manual deployment. And we're going to actually do one with a scheduled deployment also. So there's three different ways in which we can deploy this, our software into the environments. And in this particular video, we're going to help you understand what environments are. So what will you learn? Well, you're going to learn what an environment is and how you configure these environments for you to be able to release your software and deploy your software into. So environments are nothing more than a logical unit, a logical grouping of various environments that you may have. And it represents a place where you want to actually deploy your release. They're independent of each other in the fact that they should be able to deploy to individually. One should not depend on the other in order for them to deploy successfully. Each environment is self-contained, independent of each other, and just a logical unit. And we'll show you how you go about setting those up in our demo. But for now, just understand that this is what your environments look like. And I think from the previous videos, you've seen my environment pipeline. There's various things we're going to have to do to configure it, and we're going to talk about all those as we go through this section. But for now, let's go and show you just what exactly is an environment and how it looks within Visual Studio's release management. Okay, so here are the demo environment. You'll notice here I have my Mercury Health CD release that we've been working with for this course. You'll notice here I have my Dev, QA, Blue, Green, and Prod environments. So environments are made up of phases and tasks, okay? So we already walked through a lot of this. If we click on here, you can see I have my phase of run on agent and the tasks that are going to run during that phase. There's other options available like post-deployment and pre-deployment conditions as well as approvers and the ability to clone or add environments to it. So again, each one of these environments is self-contained, which means I can take my artifacts and deploy them to any one of these environments. And when they deploy successfully, that application will be working in that environment. So they're very much independent of each other. I don't have to have a dev deployment in order for a QA to be deployed successfully. Now, the pipeline is set up where it will go and deploy to dev, to QA, then to blue green, and lastly to prod, if I choose to allow them into the environments. So that makes up our pipeline that we're going to work with. So with that, let's go back and wrap up, and we'll dive into these other features of the pipeline, such as the pre and post deployments and approvers and things like that. So join us as we wrap this one up and then go into the next one.